Good evening, everyone. Today is Wednesday, 28, September 2017. This is the first time that I We're going to I curve by myself. I, you don't have to have glasses. Just I the need to uh, a fix my curlers from my hair before I'm doing it. Do you feel so lively? Go to sperm. So we have the saving lotion and then the thermalizer. Those have to be mixed together. And then we also have the neutralizer. Mix the thermalizer with waving lotion, not the neutralizer. Apply cotton around the hairline. Make sure you always follow the manufacturer's instructions. This one is an exothermic perm, which means the heat is inside. It generates heat. And the instructions are inside of the box. So you open up the box. The instructions are inside. We're adding the thermalizer into the waving lotion. And uh, when you hold the bottle, you would feel immediate heat. Does yeah. you feel heat? Yeah. yeah. So it's exothermic, so it's heat inside. And then she's going to apply. Apply on the top and on the bottom of the rod. And uh, make sure you have a piece of cotton. And make sure you completely saturate the rods. But not as much as it's dripping on the client's face. That's why she has the piece of cotton to protect the product from dripping. The plastic bag is there to keep your body heat. Because this works with body heat. It develops with body heat. Your body heat helps the perm to develop. Make sure the rods are thoroughly saturated. If the cotton is soiled, you can change the cotton so the plant would not get a band of foreign skin. I did not see it anyway. So we're applying a new cotton around the hairline after processing. Yeah, behind the ears and around. And now the plastic bag. And we're going to wait for 20 minutes. The manufacturer says for normal resistant hair, wait for 20 minutes. For resistant tinted, wait for 12 minutes. So it stops by itself. We're going to wait for 20 minutes and we are going to rinse. We're processing under the room temperature because she does have her own body heat. If, let's say, it did not take, I could have taken hot towel and pressed it on the areas that did not take. Um, we're going to test curl, 20 minutes pass. I'm going to check one on the top. Here's the weight pattern, the roping. Okay. But we're going to check again. Checking one around the nape area. The hair got the S shape and we're going to rinse it. Just go back. Put it back and start rinsing with warm water. Extend the cape over the back of the chair so the plant would not get wet. We remove the cotton. We're going to check the temperature of the water. It's going to be warm water. We're going to rinse and rinse for five minutes or until you don't smell the strong smell of the fern. We towel blot the hair, take the excess moisture, apply cotton, so we're ready for the neutralizer. Then we apply the neutralizer, with a towel handy, so if it drips, we'll catch the drippage. This is going to stay on hair for five minutes, and then we're going to remove the rods, apply more neutralizer, and then rinse. After we remove the rods, we're going to apply more neutralizer, and then we're going to gently rinse it. Do not shampoo. If you shampoo, the whole perm is gone. And then, really? Yep. And we're going to advise the client not to shampoo for two days. Mm -hmm. Well, they say do not shampoo for 48 hours. Mm -hmm. We apply a little more neutralizer on the hair. Wait for five minutes and then we're going to rinse the hair. 
and then after that the lady gets it in the dryer get a roller set if she wants or any get any style but we don't use harsh chemicals we don't comb harshly we just gentle with the hair for this perm
there's a section going this way, but we didn't exactly section it. We're using feel so lightly from photos. It's an exoteric self warming technology, and it has a substantive formula, and you mix this one with the other bottle that she's using. She's already mixed it. So, 